Okay, I'm okay. I'm set up to bench bleed my um, my TR6 master cylinder. Uh, what happened was I had a almost new TRW branded master cylinder. This is probably two years old, something like that, that I bought from the roaster factory, and it failed. And as I showed in another video, it dumped its it failed here, and dumped the load into the uh, dumped all my brake fluid into my uh, uh, brake booster, which I also had rebuilt. So this is my bench bleed, the way I bench bleed, I don't know, I do have a mighty vac and all that where you can, people do it this way, but uh, some folks say you don't have to bench bleed. I have found it hard to get the, uh, get the brakes, get all the air out of the system without bench bleeding it. And this is the system I came up with, is I run, uh, I cleaned, uh, I ran brake fluid through these first, and I run the, this is a regular brake bleeder, that'll fit. Um, in this one, this one's got larger threads, so I've got a mighty vac attachment here. But you could use, uh, you, you know, you could maybe expand this hose out. I expanded this hose out by uh, uh, forcing it over a Phillips screwdriver and heating it up and expanding that. Uh, somehow you need to expand it. This hole's bigger. But anyway, to bench bleed this, it's a, it's a simple matter of, and I like the clear tubes because I can see when the air is out, right? So it's a simple matter of taking a screwdriver or something that'll fit this plunger getting fluid in there so it's up over that hole there um, and then putting this the, the attaching the master cylinder level the problem in the TR6 is the is the master cylinder sits like this and air gets trapped up in up in here uh, it, up on this side uh, of the uh, master cylinder. So to bench bleed this, I simply, see if I can do this one-handed without knocking this out, I simply activate the, uh, activate the, uh, you can see it. So uh, I'm pumping the, uh, pumping the master, I can't get a really good purchase on it one-handed, but uh, what I'll do is I'll just keep pumping it until I get until everything's uh, full and I get and I get uh, fluid out of this bottom one, uh, the right hand side of two. Anyway, I got to keep doing this. I put it uh, until until it goes. I can't, I can't do this one handed. So I'm going to finish this up, put it in this plastic box, take it out to the car, and mount it with lots of paper towels so that uh, this side doesn't leak all over the place. Anyway, bench bleeding. Just a part two to this bench bleeding, something I forgot, is in order to get the upper chamber to bleed, I had to close off the bleed valve on this one. Otherwise, all the pressure went, uh, went straight into uh, the back one and there wasn't enough pressure left over for, for this one. So uh, anyway, for me anyway, I need to close this off. And by the time I got done, you could see fluid coming up come back a little bit coming up no bubbles uh, in either side this master cylinder is bench bled so now I'm going to go install it on the car 